Hey guys, Sharkin here. So I said I would announce the winner today for the WoW token, and the winner is Baneleaf. Mate, if you're on US Realms, just send me a private message with your battle tag and you can collect your prize. If you're not on US Realms, I have two other names for backup and I'll announce it after. Well, back to the video. Welcome to another 5 minute farm. Today, we will be looking at an entire land, Terraka Forest. This farm may take you just over 5 minutes, but no more than 10. The best class to do this on is a mage, as you can teleport to Shat anytime and teleport back to Dalaran or your capital city or anywhere you are farming or anything, anytime. What we are looking for is vendors with limited supply items and rare spawns. At the end of the video, I will provide you with a detailed map and a reference below in the video description. There is no real route that I take and you can make your own if you'd like. Today, I started in the Ring of Observance, down in the south of Terraka Forest. The first vendor is a dealer Tariq, who I have marked his location on the map at the end of the video with a skull. Sells motes of earth, fire, water, air, and mana. It's not much, but if you're passing by, it's just free gold waiting to be bought. He is visited a lot, and the spawn timer is around 30 minutes per mote. But I wouldn't come back every 30 minutes. The best way is to come once a day, or when you have 5 minutes spare and just hope he has a lot of moats in stock. After you buy out the moats, there is a rare spawn around this ring, marked with squiggles. Do not kill him. His loot table is pathetic. 99% chance to drop a ring worth 200 gold. Not worth looking around, his spawn for that pile of rubbish. The second marker I visit is a cross. At this location, you will find a vendor who sells some random engineering mats. Just buy them out and move on. It's not really worth a lot, but it's free gold and you are flying in the direction anyway. Now we get into the rare spawns. These spawns are not heavily farmed, but are still killed from time to time by people leveling or passing by. Their loot tables are pretty good. We will start with the pink one named Okrek. He drops four different belts with around 25% drop chance each, give or take a little bit. So we have the feathered girdle, the feathered sash, feathered belt and the feathered waistband for all four armor classes. The item value is worth between 150 gold to 5.3k gold. Only the feathered girdle has any value and the other three are not worth your effort to sell. Still, if you are passing by and you know you let NPC scan do all the work for you, all you need to do is just collect those items and add it to your AH collection. The second rare named Doomsayer Jurim is a lot more worth looking for. He only patrols the road and has three separate paths he takes. He also drops four items, but this time they are four boots. The Grim Boots, Grim Greaves, Grim Sabatons, and Grim Slippers. Their value is between 8k to 32k gold. These rares have spawn timers of six or more hours. You know, I'm not really sure. Well, I didn't really state much of it. So unfortunately, this is not something you should actively farm but something you should take a look for when passing by. Next, we'll take a look at Lower City in Shat. There are five vendors here whose names I shall put in the description below as I'm no good with NPC names in WoW. What you're looking for is a limited supply items such as patterns, recipes, enchanting mats, engineering mats, and weapons. You can buy some of these for stupid cheap prices like three gold and sell it on an auction house for 500 gold for the lazy people who can't be bothered going to, you know, Shat and all these out of the way places. But beware, especially with the weapons, it's a risk when buying that, and it might not sell at all. The reason I buy a lot of mats is because it, it, it just sits in my inventory and I don't take much note of it, notice of it, and eventually it will build up, and then I can either use it or sell it, especially the engineering stuff, as they are so expensive. For the video, I used an alliance as I enjoy playing them. But there are different faction vendors in towns. For Horde, I marked it as a square on the map, and for alliance, I marked it as a diamond. The vendor names are listed below with a link to take a look what they sell, or just fly over and take a look. I will be working my way through Outlands to show you vendors plus rare spawns, to allow you guys to learn what to farm and what not to farm in Outlands because it's one of the most underrated areas ever you know it's beautiful land, amazing gear design especially items like Fellsteel Longblade 
and because not many people come you know to these vendors and rare spawns and you know it's just free loot and free gold up for grabs just look at these two rare spawns they will always drop an item with value so they're always worth farming as always if you guys have any suggestions on what you'd like to see more of or see less of just leave a comment below Thanks again for watching the video. If you liked or found it useful, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more from my channel. You have a great day and I hope the RNG gods favour you.